hey yo, this one's got sound but it shouldn't be too long. So here we've got a camera track that looks okay, but it doesn't have locators in some points we might want them. If I wanted to attach something to this bit of hedge here, or this corner over here, we don't have a green crosshair from the analyzer node that's in the right place. So normally when this happens you might try and get a new axis of your own and try and line it up by eye or maybe look at the point cloud that comes from the analyzer and make sure your new axis is in the right plane. But it's kind of clumsy and it takes a long time and it's not very precise. So here's a way to do the same thing but a bit more accurately and fairly quickly. I'm going to do a couple um, fairly fast and then I'll go back and explain how to do it. So there's one done, you can see it sticks to that feature all the way through. Uh, I'll just do uh, another one real quick. So there's two new axes that stick to whatever feature you line them up to for the whole shot. So I'm going to delete all this and do it slowly and explain how it works. So to start with go to one end of your clip or somewhere where you can see whatever you want to line up to and grab a new axis and looking through the camera just line it up to your feature now duplicate the camera and freeze it on that frame, just put in set key and keep. Now you want to make a look at link from this axis to the camera, so the axis always points towards this camera. To do that you hold Alt L and drag from one to the other. And now get another new axis and parent it underneath that one. On this new axis we're going to go to some other frame, doesn't matter which and adjust the Z translate until it lines up on the same point. And as soon as you've done that you'll see it sticks for the rest of the shot. Um, so I'll maybe do one more. Get a new axis, look through the camera and line it up to some point. Make a look at link to a camera frozen on that same frame. New axis underneath go to another frame and line it up with Z-Translate and it sticks. So the reason that works is that when you make that look at link it makes the Z-axis of this axis node point towards that camera all the time. So when we move something underneath it in Z it'll just go towards and away from that camera. So while we're on that frame and we adjust this Z, you just see you can't see any 2D movement. But if you look at it in the top view, you'll see that it's moving towards and away from that camera. If we look at it from any other frame, you can see it's still moving toward and away, that frozen camera that we had on the last frame. But it is moving in 3D space. So we can line it up at the right depth and it'll stick to that position. And you can do this on anything you've got a camera for, even if it's not a camera that you've tracked in flame. If uh, you've got one from Synthize or 3DE or whatever. Um, and you can also do it on CG renders. So I've got this old CG house render and I don't have a world position pass or any geo. So I don't really know where anything is in 3D space. All I've got is this camera which is imported from FBX. 
But I can do the same thing to attach something to a surface in the scene. Um, I'll just do I'll do four corners of this window just to show how you can do a few things at once. Those four axes are now lined up to the corners of the window. There's one extra thing you can do that can make it a bit easier to um, line stuff up to the axes you've made by doing this. And right here's where I've got these four, and I want to put a bicubic on top of that fountain. If I um, load this tiny action setup, I'm making very sure it's on add nodes down here and parent that under each of the axes, you'll see I get um, four pink spheres, the same kind that you get from uh, the analyzer node when you use uh, create locates over here. And those are useful because you can snap objects to them. So if I make a new axis and hold shift, uh, you'll see it, it jumps to the middle of that. And so if I was to um, be putting surface in there. After getting it in like kind of roughly the right place you can um, just grab the corners, uh, hold shift and it'll snap to those points. Um, which is obviously a lot easier than either trying to copy the numbers off the axes or uh, Lining them up by eye. So it's an easy way to build a surface from four features in the image. 